All right, so now that we've defined and calibrated our camera, you can see that it was successfully calibrated here by all these check marks, green check marks. We're going to go in and create a process that allows us to actually measure the block size. So here we're going to type block size process. And we're going to do single view inspection and hit OK. We're going to double click on it. And real quick, before we get into this, we need to set up a few things. So you can see here that I changed the block color to be black. I was having some issues with it being green. I don't know why with this camera. It was just wasn't detecting the block. It would just make it look like it was invisible or like blending in with the, the table. I'm not sure why. But just to change the color, just double click on the block. And then click on the palette. Like the color circle wheel, whatever. And then just select the color you want. I just picked black because it's easier. And then also I need to make this visible again. So I'm going to click on this and then make this visible. And then, um, actually we don't need to make that visible. Do I need to make that visible? Uh, yeah, we'll keep it visible for now. Okay. Camera, camera block M. And then we're going to measure millimeters. And then we are going to do grid spacing, 7.5. Override the focal distance. Okay, so what's our focal distance on our camera? Our focal distance is 20 millimeters. Okay, so if we just go back to our window and we just say override the focal distance and just put 20 millimeters here. And then the height from the plane, just go back here and real quick just measure from the, the, the grid to the um, the box. So if we just click the measuring tool, so we select from there and then we select this, so it's going to be 11.7. .7. So if we go back to our, um, if we go back to our vision setup and we just type in here 11.7 .7, and then we click on train. Hit OK. Big circles cannot be distinguished. OK. I think I need to go back. Oh yeah, so we need to make sure that this box is invisible, so we just check this off, hit OK. OK, and I'll go back to your... And then now we need to go back to the vision setup and just click on train. Oh wait, hit cancel, and then save, and I said, oh, it updated the picture already. That was, that was weird. OK, hit train, hit OK. Alright, scaling data has been calculated, so now it's saying it's 0.2 millimeters per pixel. I mean, is that logical? I don't know. I don't know what a pixel is. Like, I know what it is, I just don't know, like, the quantitatively how much it is. Alright, so now if we need... Okay, so now we have our grid calibrated and our camera calibrated in this vision setup portion. So, we need to actually, before we go any further, we need to make this um, grid invisible and we need to add in our block. So if we just double click on here and we click part 2 and hit apply and then we need to edit the part offset and then just make this 20 hit apply and then click on OK. So now it's good and then we should go back to our vision tool and click the plus sign up here and then we need to scroll down and go to edge repair locator tool. So now if we click save and edit and then we double click again it should update our image which it did and go to edge pair locator tool and we need to set the search window so we need to just be like around the block where it will be placed and click on ok and then now we need to click teach and you can see here it selected the, the edges so we're just going to move these to where the edges are and click on ok and then now to then click on save and then now to make sure that this works if we do find it just it detects the edges of the block. And it says here that the length is 19.955. That's pretty good calibration. We set the block's width to be 20 millimeters, and here now it's saying 19.955. So that's perfect.